Good evening. Are you wearing bug spray? Health officials predict West Nile cases will nearly double this season from last summer. And the worst part of the season is just getting started. Yeah, the state health department has detected West Nile in 11 counties across South Dakota so far. Well, two people have reported having it, but they didn't need to go to the hospital. The weather we've had is both helping and hurting West Nile carrying mosquitoes. On nice days like today, Dan Boom is glad his family surrounds him rather than a swarm of mosquitoes. No, I don't think they like me that much. I've never had really a problem. My wife has had more problems with mosquitoes than I do. I just worry about kids this age. That's why it's crucial to wear bug spray. Health program coordinator Denise Patton says we're heading into peak transmission season for West Nile. This is the time of the year where the Culex mosquitoes are at their height, and those are the ones that spread disease really well. Patton will soon test these mosquitoes from area traps for the disease. We're starting to see cases pop up. We're starting to see positive pools. The activity is out there. She says all of the rain, heat, and humidity have brought more of them out. Well, the good news is cooler temperatures have slowed them down, so it's not as bad as predicted. The bad news, Patton says South Dakota still tops the nation in reported cases. We still are light years beyond other people in numbers, so it's still bad. One disease is too many. As for Boom, he's only seen good days with his family so far this season. I haven't seen a mosquito all this summer, surprisingly, with all this moisture. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought it'd be worse, but I haven't seen it. Well, just last week, the South Dakota Department of Health predicted there would be 135 cases, but has since dropped it to 127. Patton says her workers are already keeping busy answering calls to treat areas with standing water.